Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Mohammed. We are preparing for Elastic Certified Analyst exam. And uh, today's topic, uh, we will talk about uh, runtime or uh, runtime fields. So one of the uh, scenarios that you will probably face during the exam or also during your work that you um, sometimes uh, need um, to add a field. So you have your index, right? So um, you have all the fields and sometimes you need uh, new fields. This is uh, what they uh, are trying to say, but by uh, or, or this is let's say runtime field will solve this this issue. So let's let's give an example and let's see how we can uh, implement it. So we keep or we still using uh, the data of flight, right? So one of the fields here it's the average ticket price, right? So this is like in US dollar, but for a reason or another you want let's say you have other customers or you. For the reason or another, you want to show um, the average ticket price in uh, euro, not in US dollar, right? Uh, for this reason or to solve it, we can create um, we can create a runtime field. So how we can do that? So to do it or to be able to do that, so you go all the way to stack management, and here you go to data view, and here you choose your uh, your index or your uh, data view. And here you click on add field. This is how to add a runtime field. So you click on add. So you, uh, in the past, we used to uh, use a scripted field, but as you can see here, it will deprecate it for a uh, runtime field. So the, the runtime field will replace in the near future the scripted field, but the scripted field still be or still supported but it will not be asked during the exam why what they will ask for is the runtime field how to do a runtime field so it's from here you click add and here we go so you you here you put the name of your um of your field right so let me just let's open oh sorry let's open discover here again and one second all right so here average ticket price and let's say we call it uh, euro, like this, for example. And the type, it will be long. And here we will set uh, not a label, it's a value, right? So what's, so as you can see here, it's empty, right? If, if you want to put something, let's say, I don't know, something, um, uh, uh, here in our, in our, uh, in our example, we will, uh, we will calculate the, uh, the uh, the the price in euro based on the uh, current uh, price which is a uh, dollar so how to do that so <clears throat> uh, for sure uh, or if you don't know if you don't remember that you uh, during the exam you will be able to access to the documentation so if you don't know how to access or how to create uh, this one or how to use the runtime field so or if you don't f remember the uh, the correct syntax so you have you can click and it will redirect you to the documentation and here from here or from the documentation you will see uh, um, some examples right so let's say this one i can copy and paste it here and there is a second so here the type it will be uh, keyword so this is why it's error so because the type will, will be long uh, here i put it long and here it's text so it's not supported that's why we see the error so change to the keyword and we can see the new field with a new value but it doesn't make sense like here i'm just putting a text so i want to calculate it based on this value right and put it here how we can do this uh, we have an example or another example here in the documentation if you just scroll down a little bit so here for example we have image so we will call <coughs> the uh, field and uh, not byte uh, our field here in this case it uh, will be the average ticket price and we will uh, multiply it by 0 0.9 or multiply it by 90 and divide it by 100 which is the same if we multiply it uh, with 0 0.9 so i will take this example right and we'll put it here and we will see an error why because we don't have a field name byte here so i will remove it from here and copy this field and paste it here and here also i will i will change i will change the um the math here i will do dot nine right 
So here it is keyword, right? And it doesn't make sense. Here I'm doing a math and it's a, it's a number. Uh, it's, it will not work with the keyword, with the keyword, sorry. I will, I will change the type to uh, long or double. So as you can see, double it's supported here and it's showing, um, it's showing the price here, right? So um, this, is, uh, this is the price or this is, uh, this is the value. Also, uh, we know uh, this is uh, a currency and uh, in the format here we have a currency or we have uh, we can choose we can choose the for, for the the format of our um, uh, or our field here or the value of our field here which is currency and click on save and here we have our uh, average this is this one average uh, price and his uh, average price uh, and it's uh, the field all right so this is this is uh, our new field. so if you want to see our field i will i will go here and i will refresh kibana and i will search for average ticket price euro this one and here we go i have here the the price in us dollar and here i have the price uh in any us dollar so uh to uh, summarize so to create if you if you don't forget or if you want to create simple you you go to the the data view and make sure you are selecting the right one and add field you put the name the type and you set the value and the format you save you go back to uh, discover to make sure that you are um, seeing your field here uh, with the right format with the right value and uh, you like this you 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 just solve the scenario with that being said, I uh, hope you uh, get the point and let me know in the comment section if you are missing something or if you have any other question. And uh, we'll see you in the next topic.